Hello, and welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Game Pass. I'm Nathan, and my goal today is to tell you whether this Game Pass game is worth your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Double Kick Heroes. Are you ready to use blistering heavy metal to obliterate zombies and raise a fingerless gloved middle finger to the apocalypse? Let's find out. This game is as basic as it gets when it comes to features. It's been released on Xbox and PC, but there is no cross-save or anything like that. And it's not upgraded for any consoles, and there's no DLC, so it is what it is. So what is Double Kick Heroes then? Well, it is a rhythm action game about using music to blow up zombies that chase behind your car. And it is set to heavy metal music, which, uh, side note, I love heavy metal, so I was actually really excited for this game. The gameplay is as simple as it gets when it comes to rhythm game. There's one track of notes that's going to ride in from the left. You tap A or B when they cross the path. A to shoot low and B to shoot high based on where the zombies are that you want to defeat. As you gain streaks, your weapons get better. You start from a pistol, so you go to shotgun and minigun. And if you lose beats, you end up downgrading your guns. On harder difficulties, they do add some mechanics like moving your car to dodge attacks, but that's done automatically on lower difficulties, as well as adding symbols and more drum beats that you have to hit. But that's really only for the harder difficulties. All this is tied together by a story mode where you go level to level, meaning legends of metal and just completing songs to continue the plot. So what do I like about this game? I think the concept is amazing. Um, I love rhythm games that try and incorporate the rhythm portion of the game to like some kind of story or plot games like Elite Beat Agents. I think that's really fun. Um, I also like that you have to manage high and low tracks on the same beat track, kind of paying attention to the game while also beating with the rhythm was really neat. And the last thing is it allegedly works with a guitar controller on PC, which would be the best way to play this. More on that in a second, but if it could work, it would be awesome. So here's the minuses. Uh, first of all, the higher difficulties are borderline unplayable on a controller besides just mashing it. You cannot press buttons fast enough to match the beat. It feels designed for strumming up and down on a Guitar Hero guitar, which it allegedly is compatible with, but I couldn't get it to work. I tried both on the Xbox itself. I have an Xbox One Guitar Hero guitar, did not recognize it. I tried playing into the computer through the Windows 10 USB dongle thingy, did not recognize it. I tried manually plugging it in with a corded guitar I own from the 360 era, did not recognize it. So. The game is just not playable on harder difficulties with the controller, and the guitar controller doesn't work. Another thing is I didn't really like the music. I understand they were trying to style parody a bunch of famous metal people, and I liked that in concept, but it all kind of sounded MIDI-esque and just kind of uninspired. It was okay, but not really great. I'm not gonna say there weren't a few bangers, because there were, but generally, like 80% of the soundtrack was uninspiring to me. And lastly, I just couldn't get into the story, mostly because I didn't like the characters at all, and the writing was just really bad. I understand they're kind of going for B-movie and parodying the metal, scene, which I actually thought would be really funny, but the writing and the characters are just so cringy, I just couldn't find myself enjoying it. So as you know, rate games on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, and don't bother. This is a don't bother, unfortunately. I feel like the concept here is great. I really wanted to like it. I love the metal theme. The problem is the game is both too simple and too difficult. It's not hard to beat on a controller if you just mash the buttons, but that's not rhythm. And if you try and actually do the rhythm, your fingers will fall off. You cannot do it fast enough. I really wish that I could get this working with a guitar, and if someone has, I'd probably bump the score up to a maybe consider. But for now, if you just have a controller, this game is not worth your time. But that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this episode of 3 Minute Game Pass, and go out there and avoid Double Kick Heroes.